Rubbies in the kitchen cooking. Rubbies in the kitchen cooking. Rubbies in the kitchen cooking. What's he gonna try? What's he gonna try? Rubbies in the kitchen cooking. Rubbies in the kitchen cooking. Rubbies in the kitchen cooking. What's he gonna try? What's he gonna try? What's he gonna try today? Okay. Today, I am hijacking the show. <laughs> Why should I give him all the glory? But today, we are going to make corn dogs with a little twist, as you will, ex you will see, especially if you're an American viewer. Okay, we have two and a half ounces of couscous. Two ounces of flour. One good medium to large sized egg. I'm not sure which came first, the chicken or the egg, but um, you know. Okay. Four fluid ounces of milk. We are going to be putting in a teaspoon of ground ginger, as well as a teaspoon of ground cumin just to give it that extra kick. Okay, and of course, eight hot dogs. We have an ounce of sugar. Mm -hmm. Meat and sugar together. It's interesting. And because I've hijacked here. My husband has put in a ransom note. He says that he has to have his corn dogs, not just straight corn dogs, he has to have them in buns. I don't know. I must love him. One other important thing, and this will be explained later, we have some water in a bowl. It sounds strange, but technically it's one of our ingredients at the moment. Is it be how it's used? Okay. I take the bowl, and of course we have skewers. These are not for poking anybody with. These. No. No, you don't poke your wifey with them. Trying to be cheeky again. We'll get him later, girls. Right. I put those sticks. I have eight sticks at the moment because of the eight sausages. I'll explain why later. Okay, first things first. We put in just... <laughs> I'm doing a husband. Right, so put in the flour, sift the flour. ground ginger. This may be a whoops teaspoon, knowing me. Um. <laughs> ah, not quite. I was, going, I was thinking it was going to be a ah! Oops. Um, it was just like a bit too much. Let's 
specific. them together that's all your dry ingredients this is basically a batter mix okay so next get our egg just being careful we don't get any shell in there because it's a pain in the Yes, to get out. Okay. Just give it a good twist. this in so it gets to a nice thick batter. Okay, um, what we're after is what most people call a thick batter, which you can cook it straight from the yogurt old. No! You wait till it gets on the corn dog, don't you? Yes, you would be a good boy and you won't. Because this is just that nice consistency. If it just, sometimes if it's just that little bit too thin, give you a tip. Just sprinkle a bit of extra flour in it. Because that'll just help thicken it up just right. Like so don't panic if you think it's gone a bit too runny. Okay. I'll do. This. I'm going to put this in the fridge just for a few minutes to let it sort itself. Okay. That leads me on to doing the hot dogs. <laughs> And one point that he thinks it's supper time. <laughs> okay, I'm not quite sure what's happened, but we've made the best out of what happens. Okay, now I've opened a tin. Hopefully it'll open a bit better than that. get our drainer. So, just need to get a knife in a minute. Save on the uh, old figures. Is fill this plate. You a bigger plate for on your size of your hot dogs. Basically, just put in a little bit of kitchen towel and we will get back to them in a couple of minutes. Ok, 
Okay, now we get the batter up, now it's had time to settle. I'd give it at least 10 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes, half an hour, but at least 10. It just helps it to sort itself out. Um, Woohoo! Yeah, that is definitely... I just put a little bit of milk to that, just to get a bit more pliable. That's why you always adapt. A little too much. friend kitchen towel. I'll put that on the big plate. And of course, if you haven't forgotten, the screws. Oi! They're wet and they'll go, you know, you're not careful. The reason why I said about putting them in water is the fact that these will be going into a hot oil so you don't burn the skewers and of course burn yourself which is the one thing you don't want to do okay that's it just try and oh, can do it without the glass without the cup Trying not to do that. Here's the outside. Ooh, getting close to the top. That's one ready. I'll just get a couple ready so. Okay. So then we go into the middle. Trying to get just. You can feel it inside. Okay. Nope. Just don't lose into it. Right. Let me just wash my hands a bit. Does this fit? Can be a bit messy, but we'll yeah, we'll see how it goes. I know you can do this in a frying pan, but it's ideally in a chip pan because usually a, chip, a, a deep fat fire because, you know, most people usually have one, but at least in a pan full of oil. So it's okay. Let's see if this worked because last time I tried it didn't. Our heat, our temperature of our oil should be 160 centigrade or 320 Fahrenheit, which we will get to put on the screen below you. Okay. The proof of the pudding is in the baking, I think, in this case. Right. 
There we go. Let's just do a couple. That's one. I'm going to get some paper. Okay, let's just. Oh. They look better than my last attempt, so I'm improving. Not yet. Not yet. To be a good boy. Because next stage is to put them on a bit of kitchen towel. I'm just going to get these out of the drainer. I'm going to have some of the others done in the thingy, so I'm just going to put that down for now to help keep the temperature warm. Traditionally, these are served with a mustard, mustard and mayo. But of course, you could do it with hot sauce, ketchup, you know, whichever, whatever suits your taste. But for the matter of no minute. I know, boys and girls, you know. Yeah. Right, let's just have some fun. Let's just. <coughs> mm. Mm. Um, as you can stop. Sorry, no, my mum's all here. But as you can see, the nice light batter around the edge. You, you, don't, you don't want it too thick. I know. <coughs> but, mm. but there's a reason why I did too. Because not just because these are gorgeous and lovely and the. Nutty, it's like say nuttiest taste with the couscous. I know you're supposed to use polenta or cornmeal, but traditionally, well, I've used couscous in this one, and the nice, slight, slightly nutty taste, and then of course the sugar. Mm, I just, mm. yeah. Don't forget the swear the honey. You know, definitely that taste. What I'm going to do, because he's been such a good boy, <coughs> we are going to see the cameraman have a try. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. Now that hot dog player is really coming through. As Caroline said, you can really taste the sort of nutty flavour of it being couscous. But yeah, there's a lovely softness texture to the uh, batter there. Well, for the record, I'm Robbie Yates. This has been Robbie's Kitchen. That's been my wife, Caroline, cooking corn dogs for you. I'll see you next week. Look after yourself. Take care. God bless. <laughs>